you are new to Rizzo printing or to channels in Photoshop, this is the easiest way to make a photographic Rizzo print. You're going to open up your image and go over to channels. And you can see like most digital images, this is in an RGB color space. So we're going to switch to CMYK, go to image mode, CMYK, which is a printing color space. Next thing we want to do is convert those to spot colors. And the quickest way to do this is to go back to image, click on mode again, and select multi-channel. And this will convert all of your channels at once into spot colors. If you've downloaded the Rizograph color swatches, this will make this a lot easier. You're going to double click on your channel on your cyan channel and you can just click on your Rizzo swatch and it will convert that to blue. Click on your magenta or double click and you can use your dropper tool to change it to red and double click on your yellow. Use your dropper to select the yellow Rizzo color and that will convert it to yellow and the same with black. And if you turn them all on, you can see that you have your compiled image. Now it's not a perfect match, um, but also it's not a perfect preview. So there is some play where you can kind of play around with the colors and maybe pick some different colors. A lot of people only like to print in CMY and drop out the black entirely. Um, for this image, I don't particularly like the red channel. So instead, as my third color, I'm going to select the black and make it burgundy so that I can highlight those nice dark centers of the sunflower. So this is what my image will look like as a blue, yellow, burgundy image. You can also play around with different colors using mint or teal instead of blue, depending on the kind of image you have. Um, if you wanted to make your sunflowers orange instead of yellow, you could try that. There's no rules, it's really your own creative process. So once you're happy with your three or four or two colors, you're gonna delete any unwanted channels. And you're going to select split channels. And that will automatically put each of your channel colors into its own file. And from there, you're just going to save each as its own PDF, put them together in a folder, and I like to save my PDFs as first a Photoshop PDF and then as a PDFX. And you're going to do this for each of your colors. So the next step is to go down to Acrobat. We're going to go File, Create, and Combine Files into a single PDF. You can simply drag your three colors into the menu and click Combine. You may want to change the order. Generally, you want your darkest color to print first, which is the opposite of traditional printmaking. Whatever color you print first on the risograph is going to be most prominent. So simply save your file. And you're all done.